All right. Just uh. Well, 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 well. How about this? Let me add a scene here. Blank scene. Ha 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 ha. We're gonna have to do this uh, a little bit differently now. Uh, okay. So we got a blank scene. And let's add a image layer. In this image layer, I'll just open up the Minecraft screenshots. All right. So here is the before, right? Right there. All right. So yeah, you, you can't see me, but that's okay. So as you know, we have all this stuff here going on, right? And this is what it looks like before. Now let me switch it to the after and show you how that looks. Here is the after screenshot, right? <clears throat> All right. So in this after, we can see, let me switch this. You can see I got the, the farm made here. I kind of made it into a three tier system. That way I wouldn't have to you know, build up, uh, flatten the whole thing out. I could just, you know, do a nice little tier there. In the first one here, we got wheat, and we got uh, potatoes here, and we got beetroots up here, because that's just really all I had. Uh, next, you can see we expanded the cow pen a little bit more than what it was previously, and I also expanded this little uh, farm there as well. Additionally, you can see we have more sugar cane down there, and over here we have some melons planted. Also, this cactus moved a little bit. It was here before. You can also see we have more trees up here and a number of cactuses along this route here. See, and I also added a little building right here, which uh, we'll get to later. But as you can see, everything has a nice wall around it. So the villagers can't fall off because we actually had some of them fall off down here after they went off this way, along with an iron golem. So we lost one of those boys. Um, and I had to kill another one because I accidentally attacked the iron golem, right? And so the villagers that wandered off and got across the field, I put in this little shack here. That way they're protected and all that stuff now. So that's basically what I've done here. I'll get into a little bit more of that uh, at a later time here. So let's remove that. Now we can just get right into the game. Yeah. Get rid of that real quick. All right. Let's open this bad boy up and uh, give you a more in-depth look at what's been going on, you know. Also, I think if I lose this hardcore run at some point, what I would like to do is take another look at the mods that I have, because I think I can make it better by adding some different mods. Because uh, I think I had to use an older Forge version in order to run Optifine. And since I'm not using shaders, I don't really need Optifine anymore. So if I were to remove Optifine, I could get in all the mods that I wanted to get in that were compatible with 1.19 anyway. As long as they had the right Forge version. Right. So if we do die, I'm not going to try to, of course. If we do die, I'll probably end up doing that. That way I have a uh, better experience, you know. I really want, like, uh, tree capitator mods and vein miner, whatever the ore mod is where you can do all that nonsense. It's really great. Also, if I could get some of those storage mods that I saw that we had, uh, that I wanted to get, or, like, applied energistic kind of stuff, that would be great. That would be real great. It'll absolutely swell if that could happen. But fortunately not yet. So let's hop back in. And I can show you around on the, the level. And uh, we can get to know the village a little bit. And our villagers. I've increased. So, so anyway, here we are. I'm going to give it a couple seconds to fully render everything. You know, so we're not dropping a bunch of FPS and all that. Give it a second here. Okay. So in the chest, you can see I have a lot. A lot more stuff. I found an ender pearl when an enderman showed up in the village 
and an iron golem killed him. He just dropped an ender pearl, so I have one of those, which is uh, okay. I can't use it for anything right now, fortunately. You can see I have a new book down here, a mending book, because I found a mending villager and I wanted to lock the trade in, so I, I traded for a mending book. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all. I got some shears and got some wool and stuff like that. I have a bunch more wheat seeds because of the wheat stuff. I got this guy who's a cartographer, so I can trade him paper. Uh, that's basically the only thing with him. This guy over here mm -hmm. is a leather worker, so I can trade him leather. And this place over here, as you can see, it's a, a just a, a little overlook area. I haven't really planned what I'm going to put here yet. Uh, maybe I put some more buildings here and make more villager things. or Maybe I do that over there. I don't know. But we'll see. But over here... This is my farm, as you can see here. And I put these fences here because I didn't want the uh, the villagers walking down and like walking up on this area and then falling down onto my food and destroying the cropland. And also because I didn't want them to like go up this way when the uh, cliff was open so they could fall into the water like idiots. Mm. But as you can see, I had to use some slabs in certain places because it was just dry earth. Because I couldn't, uh, you know, hoe that area unless I wanted to put more water down and just make the area look a little weird. So I just went ahead and used some platforms, used a little uh, extra for some decoration and stuff like that, so that we could have a nice farm area. I got some stuff planted. I'm still a little bit lacking on the the beet roots because they're still coming in, but I could like take that one and plant it. But I don't want to fill up my inventory quite yet. As you can also see, I've, I've bred some of the cows, so we have more running around doing their thing. I haven't really touched this shack or anything in here. In fact, there's no cactuses in here. The farmer, I expanded his little farm a little more, and as you can see, he's went on top of this and jumped down and caused the farmland there to become dead. But that's fine, and as you can see, he still has the same trades. He's almost about to hit level 2 of a trader. I also walled this off because, again... The villagers apparently wanted to wander across the ocean for some reason. Like they didn't want to live in their village. So, yeah, but up here, you know, still just flat. We still got our, our lovely retaining wall here going around the entire thing. So the villagers can't escape. Power is left as it is. Our sugarcane farm is a lot bigger than it was before. We only had a couple there to begin with last time. And, of course, we have the melons, which are still growing. And if we go up here... Back again, we can see our lovely um, trees growing. And we come back over here to our little enchanting shack, which I've been getting bookshelves for. Uh, I stole the bookshelves out of the, uh, what, the scribe's place where they were at, or I guess the librarian. I put them here, and then I also did some trades with some of the villagers that sold bookshelves for an emerald, or I think it was nine emeralds, whatever it was. We're going to have a couple more, but we really need an enchanting table, so uh, that'll come in handy, right? So I need to get one of them, and that is the main thing. So, with that in mind, let me go outside the village and show you what else is there. Also, I realized that the, uh, the markers on the map, the temporary ones, don't stay uh, if you do that. So whenever you leave the game and come back in, the temporary markers aren't there. So over here we have our little villager shack. I put this fence here so I could have it, and I, I put the doors here so they have doors. Both of these guys are uh, librarians, as you can see. This guy has a Sharpness 5 book right out the gate. And this one here has Protection 4. And the villager in the, in the town has a Mending book. So with this I can very easily get... Is 4 the highest protection... Let me see. Yeah, protection four is the highest. So I have protection and I have sharpness here. Both of the highest level they can possibly be. Right? I think sharpness is five, right? Yeah, sharpness five. So both of these guys are just good. Um, you can very easily get a sharpness axe and all my armor increased with protection. But not yet. I want an enchanting table. So I can first provide a uh, a normal enchanting, perhaps, on some of the items, right? And then I can do the anvil 
uh, extra enchantments. But I feel like it's just a waste if you, you know, just go straight into using books on your items, right? I did, uh, as you can see, I don't know if I did this on stream or not. I added power one to my bow. I don't know if I showed that on stream or if I did it offline. Kind of mixed together. There's one more thing I got to show you guys before we can get into it. And that is over here, across the ocean. I made this S mark, which stands for sheep. I wanted to have a uh, sheep farm, but also this is where I got some dirt for the farm. The, the one thing about this is uh, it, it might be just out of range of the chunks that stay loaded when I him away. So they won't necessarily regrow their wool unless I'm closer to them, I guess. I, I'm not sure. I haven't had them up and running for long to tell. Maybe they are just within range. I don't know how many meters or whatever there is between me and the sheepy sheeps. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Anyway, the plan for today is I, I need more diamonds. That's what I need. And if I can get more diamonds, I can then get an enchanting table. And I can then get my armor enchanted to make it just beautiful, right? So that, that's the plan. Because right now, we don't need diamond armor. Because this armor is already... Mm, it's better than base diamond armor, right? Now, if we were to get netherite... It might go out of fashion, but I don't know, because we have the strength and the resistance buffs constantly on with this armor, so I don't know if it's, you know, worth it to get netherite and then have it not have this stuff on it, you know? But my plan is, since we have this lovely, huge chasm below us, we already got some iron down there, and I'm running low on iron as well. Uh, we can go down there and get coal and iron, because I'm also running low on coal, if we go to my uh, my chest here. Also, I took away that door, because I got annoyed with it, and these doors took them down, too. As you can see, they're in here. But yeah, I have only 21 more iron. I have no coal. I'm running really low on torches, uh, and so I needed some more in order to... So that is the plan for right now. <clears throat> We're going to go down into the depths here, and explore. So I think, how did I take damage, air quotes, from that? So I think what we'll do is we'll just like start right here. And we'll go down, creating a nice little staircase for us. And then we can reach down into this, uh, this nice little cave that just happens to be there for us, right? Probably don't need to remove all this sand, but it does help to have extra sand and stuff for uh, our future homes and stuff, you know. I can just go ahead and place a torch there, mine out that one. And just do the same thing with this one. Perfect. Oh, that would have been... Woo! That would have been bad. I almost fell off. Okay, so I think we need to not worry about going down further. We just need to kind of go forward until we reach that area. And I can go ahead and place some map there. And always gets in the way. Okay, look there. I want a nice, you know, two by two path there. So I don't accidentally fall. You know, and get my myself killed. Okay. For the area that I kinda wanna be at. What is has a backpack on him? Be a zombie? 
I'm gonna go with a backpack. It's getting to be night. I think we'll sleep for now. Just since we are this close to the surface anyway. When we're actually in the caves, it's not gonna matter too much if it's night or day. But for now, I want to at least be able to safely dig down to the area, right? Okay. For the sand and stuff we got there. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and just jump in. I'm going to place a torch at the entrance here just so I have it marked. So the only question that I have right now is how do I get further down? Do I just... Maybe I'll mine this way a little bit. This has like an overhang. If I do this... I think I need to go at least four down or so. Right about here. We'll do one more. Go. I'm just gonna do this. So it's easier for me to not hit my head when I'm going back up. <clears throat> okay. We're basically at where level we need to be as at. This, then boop, and boop, boop, boop. All right, perfect. And I can make a little base here. Not necessarily a base, just a little platform that has a, uh, a torch here and then a torch up here to mark that. Yeah, this is the way because I, I might get lost if I don't see it, obviously. No. <clears throat> all right. Moving back. Some coal, first of all. Very helpful to have that. What do we got down there? Oh, those are skeletons wearing gold armor, and that's a normal skeleton. Okay. Oh, there's two creepers down there, too. That's that's excellent as well. Oh, boy. Our Y equals 47. I don't think I want to go down that way. That way looks a little bit risky. This side, there's really nothing here. Except for that zombie, but that's, that's fine, too. And those zombies, and that spider. I'm actually not a fan that the spider is uh, that color. There we go. Okay, he's dead. Easy peasy. I will keep rotten flesh at least until uh, my inventory starts filling up, and then I'll maybe not. But with rotten flesh, if I ever get a cleric, I have a very nice way to get emeralds in the future, you know, because I can just hold rotten flesh from killing zombies. And even better, if I were to get a zombie spawner nearby, which would be amazing. Um, I could use that to make a zombie farm and an experience farm as well, which I could then use to get rotten flesh and experience. That would be excellent as well. Maybe I find one of those. There is cobblestone there, but I think that's because there's water and lava meeting, which is unfortunate for that. Okay, there's one of my iron pickaxes. One of the cats from the village must have fell down here, huh? Okay. Let's make our way around this side of the mountain. I'd like to get this iron over here. We will need more iron. Especially if we're making all these iron tools. Uh, at least until we can get a mending book on our diamond pickaxe. Then we won't really have to worry too much about iron and stuff but we can also use iron to trade for i think it was bottles of enchanting at those one like fairy forest things right so for the fairy forest the yeah, other the, the fairy ring where we got this armor at that is great so it'd be nice if we could uh have some excess iron because i think it was nine iron for like one bottle of enchanting or something that would be cool <clears throat> 
Also, if I need more of those fairy rings, it'd be cool to have so we could uh, get extra sets of the armor, I guess. Or at least to get all well, those memento. Because with memento letters, we can actually just exchange those for three bottles of enchanting, which would also be really cool. So. Okay. Got an Enderman there. I don't want to deal with that right now. We're just going to not look at him. <clears throat> Let's keep mining away. I'm going to place a torch here because then I can kind of see my way back up. Creeper over that way. Almost looked at the Enderman. Crap. I was trying to use the shield, but. Place down torches. Okay, got him. Easy. Is that Lapis? Is that what Lapis looks like right now? It is. I might be overusing my shield a bit right now. Actually. Because uh, it looks like it's about to break. Yeah, that's Lapis Luxuli, which we will definitely need in order to... Enchant stuff, so that's good. Okay. Set up on here. We'll grab this. Hold. I don't like how low my durability on my shield is. But I think most of that was done by creepers floating previously. So, I think we should be okay, for now. I don't think arrows take it down that much with blocking them. Really, that's all you need the shield for right now is the arrows, because it seems like these zombies don't do a lot of damage when they hit me anyway. So, okay. Grab that iron there. See you up there, creeper. I'm gonna stop moving. Here we go. I would really like to get infinity on a bow. That would be very nice. Uh, ignore me. Okay. down here and some iron as well. I'm using the mini-map to uh, kind of keep track of monsters in the vicinity, but that Enderman's making me uh, kind of afraid that I'm gonna see, you know, a uh, skeleton. I feel like the skeleton's gonna sneak up behind me, you know, because there was one around here, right? Okay, so I dug this tunnel for one reason and one reason only, and that's to kill that Enderman. So, Enderman, come a little bit closer. Come here, loser. The Enderman need a three block high thing. Oops, with that one. Here we go, let's go. Okay. Now I can just take him back, loser. Come back. Come on. Got him. Excellent. And we got another Ender Pearl. Which is perfect. Did I forget to bring my extra food? Oh my god, I did. Well, that's just how it goes sometimes. That's alright. Luckily, we're not too far down. Okay. And yeah, I don't really need copper right now, but you never know when I could use it for decorations. So I'm just going to grab some. Also coal right here, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. 
I'll also grab this uh, copper. Down here is level 24. So, there are decent ways down. I want to go back up, drop off this stuff, get the rest of my food, because mining and killing monsters and generating my health is uh, quite a lot of work for my nutrition bars. It'll be helpful to have the extra, like, I think I got, like, 50 bread right now. All right. I'm going to store everything that I have here now. Okay. I'm actually going to build another chest. Another double chest. Bang, bang. Oops. Forgot that you did that. It does that. Bang, there we go. Okay. <clears throat> then everything can go in here. Perfect. And I'm actually going to take this 15 charcoal. Or ch coal. I don't know why it's charcoal. And I'll just store this stuff away for now. Perfect. Excellent. I add the bread that I wanted. Here it is. Okay. We've got what we need. Take a quick nap since it is night. Okay. Excellent. And remember, our goal here is to get at least two diamonds for the enchanting table. If we can get two diamonds, we'll be able to start the uh, gear upgrade process and the weapon upgrade process. So that'll be a uh, to do. Okay. Be careful going down these so we don't completely annihilate ourselves. Hey, Spooter. Yeah! Easy peasy. Use our bow here to take out this creeper. Okay. That sort of works. Alright. Like I said, the creepers do a lot of damage to the shield. I can get around this corner here. Maybe lure that skeleton in. Go, got him. The spider wants some, huh? Got him without him taking any damage. Perfect. All right. Let's continue our journey. Hopefully uninterruptedly. What is that down there? Is it up there? I don't... Hmm. That red dot on the map, I don't like where that's at. Is there some lapis up there too? That's not the red dot that I'm looking at right now. Where is it at? Oh, there's an enderman right up there, okay. Perfect. That uh, explains that. Don't have to worry. This is all underwater. I do not want that, actually. Oh man, my, my lapis is coming up. Ugh. Okay. Perfect. I can use this uh, to just kind of. <sighs> not like that, though. I was gonna say use it to go down further, but uh. <laughs> all this iron. <clears> throat> <coughs> <coughs> My throat's been weird today. I really like that the iron drops nuggets now because you can actually use uh, fortune. It's fortune, right? Yeah, fortune for mining the... Uh, the ores, and it'll drop extra, which is very cool. Very, very cool. But whoever came up with that at the uh, Microsoft Mojang office, props to them. 
What an interesting looking place though, right? It's pretty cool down here. Although it is hard to see stuff on the sort of incline here, you know? But we got some uh, some redstone. How about I mine some of that? Down this way. So what level are we at now? We are at eight. So we can start seeing diamonds now, but of course going to be a pain to find them. Map. Okay. Right around this edge here, there's more lapis up this way, so we'll grab some of that. Wanted to make sure there wasn't any Hiding in the wall there. <clears throat> Ignore that iron up there then. Go up a river to get it. Hey, more coal, hell yeah. I already have a stack, but you can never have too much coal, you know? It's been oddly peaceful in this cave. Like, extremely oddly peaceful. You know? I feel like I should have seen a lot more monsters by now. That's maybe because it was day, and it would be near the surface still. Well, surface, air quotes. Kind of not the surface. Let me in here. I mean, this crack. Well, this is not what I wanted to do. I'm just going to get this and get out of here. I don't want to deal with that. Okay. Okay. Well, the further down I go, the more I... I have to find some diamonds. Well, let's do that. More redstone over there, but I don't want to deal with that quite yet. Red mark this way. I guess it's an Enderman somewhere. Can't see him. More lapis. Trying to see where it would be a good place to go down at. Back there seems okay, but what do we got over this side? We got a spider. Zombie with a backpack. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I say we just fall from here, because of course there's a creeper now. Not moving creeper. Here you go. No, I can't hit him. Oh, now there's a skeleton right down there, too, huh? Okay. What a lovely sound. Uh, I don't like it. What is that red mark that I keep seeing? It's gotta be above me or something. Let's go. Oop. Oh god, that's a lot of creepers. That's a lot of creepers. Can I blow up? Perfect. Put some gold next to me there. Okay. Took care of that. Perfect. Easy peasy. Same shows. Same shows. Okay. Let's put a torch here to signify that's where I came down at. Oh my god, really? Hold on. Gunpowder, armor, bag, disc, easy peasy. Leave the backpack there, I don't care. So things with backpacks actually drop backpacks, huh? With like loot in them, that's cool. What a cool mod that is. 
I'm just going to take these uh, arrows out of the ground. Nuggies. What a nice cave. I love the Caves and Cliffs update. It is just so amazing looking. Down here. Like, all these, like, huge, expansive caves with stuff just visible as you walk around. It's so nice. I don't have to worry about, like, oh, this cave's going to be a dead end. Just have a nice, huge open area. I see you over there. Don't think I don't. Easy. Get out of my way. All right. New mining. God, this mini map is so just clutch for survival or for hardcore because uh, you can use it to be like, okay, there's an enemy there. It'll be stuck up behind, and it's just so good, so Gucci. All right. Come here, you. This axe is going to be deadly with the criticals and the... Um, there's a diamond. With the criticals and the... Uh, I saw that red mark there. With sharpness and the critical happening at the once at the same time, it's going to be so cool. We're just going to dig around here a little bit further, make sure there's no hidden diamonds, you know. You know how diamonds like to hide behind cobblestone in like a diagonal. Aha! See? That's why we do it. Well, I don't like the idea of going down into there when uh, it's exposed up here, you know? That is not ideal at all. But we'll do it. We got a shield. What's the worst that's going to happen, you know? Instant death. I guess. Oh my god, we're getting diamonds in days. Oh my god, more diamonds. Okay, we've got five. Not bad, not bad. Will we get more? We seem to be trending down this way. Elevation we at? We're at negative 22. Okay. Keeping an eye on the mini map so I don't get messed up by uh, people. If we don't get any diamonds here, okay. I'll grab this iron though. I think we'll head back up now. I'll leave that torch there to mark that I, I was the one who dug this. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, let's get out of here. Because my shield is, like I said, pretty damaged. And I would really like to not have it be destroyed. Although making another one is very simple. But, oh my god. Easy. Knock it off, Skeleton Archer, you piece of shit. Okay. I just gotta get out of here. Might be a little bit easier said than done. Oops. Okay. I have made it up to here. So I just gotta go this way. I've not placed enough torches down. I'm now realizing that. Craptastic. 
right, that's fair. And another one. The shield might be worn out by the time I get back up. Oh my god. Get a, another torch there. There. Right. Fortunately, it is night right now. But that's okay. All we gotta do is make it home. And luckily, the area around our base is very, 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 very well lit. So as long as nothing comes out and gets us before we jump the fence, we should be fine. In fact, I think I want to light up a little bit more around the base. If we're being honest, because then the mobs are way further back and they won't aggro us. But either way, we made it home. We are good, and we're going to take a nap. Nap, 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 nap. All right. Uh, what a successful adventure that was. Let us go ahead and put our things away. Go. I got the two diamonds that I need. I'll just go the rest there. All right. Enchantment table. I need a book and some obsidian and a book. I need one leather and some paper. I think I actually have a leather, so perfect. I will go ahead and just do this. Easy peasy. And then my obsidian that I have. One, two, three, four. And this makes it nice. Easy to get an enchantment table. Hell yes. And we can place it right there. And if we put a shovel in there just to see how we're at, we're at 18, which means we need to get a lot more bookshelves. Well, that is our current focus now. To find some bookshelves. Or specifically make books, I suppose. Out. All right. So... Right now, what we have is paper, leather, we've got potatoes, and wheat, sugar cane. I'm trying to get the things that will get us, uh, not emeralds, but, uh, emeralds, yeah, emeralds, sorry, but I think that's everyone has things that I can trade with them right now. All right, let's go around and see what people want. I'm actually going to put these four torches that I got back in here. Thank you. All right, so there's a guy back here. Oh, that's a cat. Never mind. Wait, you there. You're the leather worker, right? You want leather. Fortunately, I do not. I'm going to put my leather away. I'm not going to kill cows for leather. That's just not a thing I'm going to do right now because I don't have enough cows. You there. You also a leather worker? You're paper. I don't want to trade with you yet. You're my scribe, which wants paper or 30 emeralds. Mm -hmm. What we can do is cut down all of our lovely sugar cane. We can turn it into paper. We'll have a decent amount to trade in. Not a crafting table here. Of all the crafting tables when you need them, huh? There's only one in this village, and that's at my place. I feel there's be more. Hmm. How goes the wheat harvest over here, sir? I'm gonna do your job for you. There you go. What we got? 20 wheat and potatoes. Okay, we can look for that. But for right now, our cows have grown up a bit, so we can go ahead and feed them. Have them breed. Go. Give me all your experience. Perfect. Because the cows will also come in handy when it comes to uh, getting experience to mend our gear when mending becomes a thing that we have. Uh, you get experience when you breed them, so the more you have, the more experience you get for that, which will be nice. Also, thanks to the uh, props dropping experience, we can get uh, mending stuff. By just harvesting crops, which will be excellent. At least for the shield and whatever weapon we're holding at the time, and armor, I guess. Here. 
I really wish that uh, the right click to harvest mod worked for this, because that would be just excellent. I wouldn't have to replant and everything. I just go around right clicking everything and it would work. couple levels off this at least. I think we were like, what, 22 when we started or something? Or at least 26, you know? I've been looking at my levels because it doesn't really matter. All right, next is time to harvest our potatoes. God, maybe I just harvest all of them and then replant everything because most of them are mature. Yeah, look at that. I don't want to deal with looking at each one and doing it that way. It can be a pain. Careful not to hit the torches. Perfect. Oh, I even missed one that was not a uh, fully grown one, so that's excellent. He has a couple stacks of potatoes, I think. At least one, I feel like. Oh yeah, we got uh, three stacks of potatoes after we replant. Nice. Three stacks and some change. So that's great. And now for the beet farm. Give me the seeds in my hand, please. The reason I have this is because we can use the beets to trade with the farmer eventually. Well, potentially. Or maybe if I build another farmer. No one wants beets right now, but future they might. Okay. Uh, this side looks like it's all fully grown, so let's just... There might have been a couple that weren't, but that's okay. Excellent. Easy peasy. Okay. All the farming work is done. <clears throat> Let's go trade with our... Well, the farming work is done, but then I see more is grown already. So, a little beneficial for us. Okay. Let's go trade with the farmer and get all we can out of him for emeralds. Potatoes next. Hey, we're getting a lot. Excellent. I was about to get rid of all this. Can I just throw it in? I don't think so. That's unfortunate. I know I can use a hopper, but... Remember, our goal for this is to get bookshelves, which we'll uh, do here. We're going to go across the, the river here. Talk to our other guys, because they sell bookshelves, I know that. And I can also level them up to see what the next book that they have to sell is. I just want to get rid of all this, uh, all these junk seeds so they don't fill up my uh, chests, you know. And they drop a bone meal, which is nice. I can use stuff to, to grow. Poison potato. Oh, apparently I can't use the poison potato for a fertilizer for some reason. Weird flex bow. Excuse me, excuse me, out of the way. 
So really not a crafting table at anywhere other than my home. One here. Okay, perfect. All the paper. Yo, guy. You want paper, right? Yeah. Let's level you up first and then see what you got. Oh, you're not leveled up yet? You need more? You're leveled up now. There we go. Now you have a flame book, which is not really all that great, if we're being completely honest. I can put that on a bow, right? What's this guy do? Photographer? How about this guy? What are you? Give him a leather worker? Oh, right. I a potato. Out of the way. Oi, stop. Stop running away. Hey, leather worker. Okay. Starting to get night, but that's okay. We're not going very far. We're just sweeping on around here. Maybe we'd be beneficial to like seal off this side as well. Make it like another village over there. All right, what you got for me? You're the sharpness boy? Okay, well, how about we get some bookshelves? Okay. Used up basically all of my uh, emeralds, but you know, that's, that's okay for now. We'll just... Right there. Okay. With these bookshelves, I might be able to get to where I need to be with enchanting. I don't know why I ran there. I'm so used to going into the home. I'm like second nature for me. Do that. We're at 22. Let's go with that, which will get us to 26, so we're still a little bit shy of it. But that's okay. We'll get there. <clears throat> Slowly but surely. Alright. We'll make a day, and then I also want to, real quick, I think what I will do, if we're being honest, I will go ahead and mend my shield, because really, that's the only thing that shields can have, is, is mending on them, right? So I'll make that. Really only really useful upgrade that I'm, I'm aware of for shields. So, we'll take that. Put that stuff there. And, yeah. Well, really all that we can do at this point is like wait for stuff to trade with right which is uh i mean we could go mine more but i don't really see the point in mining if we uh you know don't need to mine right now i, I could wait until i get looting or not looting fortune and then go and do that you know also how cool would that place be like right there right in front of us here if we like, it, it looks like a, there's the, the nose and you got like the, the mouth like open. It would be cool to make that look like a dragon head or something, right? Just like put some, like an eye there and that's the nose, put some teeth in there and then there. It's already got the black, like the throat, perfect. And then that's just like the neck going down there. It would be cool, mm -hmm. but also like, Crazy, right? Because that, that already has like the eye shape to it, right? And I don't have the patience to do that kind of stuff though. What do you want? You want leather. That's just a freaking cat. You want that. You trade books and paper. So really, do I even need the cartographer? But I guess since I've already traded with the cartographer, he, you know, 
He's locked into that. Hmm. You know what? Let's do it. Okay. <clears throat> I've decided on our next course of action. I'm going to expand to the east of the village. What we'll do is we're going to take all the dirt that I got. I'm going to take all the sand that I got. Uh, let's take my sandstone walls. What else should I carry with me right now? Um, wheat seeds, I suppose. I think I have enough tools to last me for a little bit anyway. What's in this chest? <clears throat> sandstone, perfect. Okay. Let's take the sand and we'll make more sandstone. Then we'll cut this, at least one stack, into cut sandstone. Cut the other stack into, like, that many. And cut the rest into fences. And then, I guess let's take... I have some sticks somewhere, right? Yeah. Make a hoe here. Perfect. There. All right. First off, <clears throat> take our boat and go ahead and sail across. Okay. What I'll do next, I think, Let's start with this area. Here you can see where a creeper blew up. The jerks. Do that. How do I have it there? Right, like that. Okay. Let's take out our cobble. How do we make it one more bag? Give us a nice little space here to breathe. This here. That. And I think I'll just get rid of these. Excellent. Let's use our sand and just fill this thing in again. Could just use sandstone on the top, and then the top texture would be different, so I'm not gonna do that. Okay. And here. Oops, I didn't want to do two. One for now. Put that there so I have a nice little step up to get to here. Why well, don't I make it three, I guess? Look better. Even though our entryway is only two. You know what? Nah, I don't like it. There. Better. Perfect. Nice and symmetrical. further. We can do that. Perfect. Love to see it. All right. I'm going to take all the sand for myself. Flatten this side off as well. 
There's the Iron Golem that fell off a while ago. Go ahead and just knock that place down. Another shovel bites the dust. this. Perfect. Okay. Now let's use the sand and build up all the edges that we can to make it a nice lift face so we don't have to worry about mobs coming up out of the water or anything. It looks like that's perfect. Okay. We'll just surround what we can with uh, that's not what I want to do actually. I remember what my original plan was. Yeah. Okay, I want to do that. We'll do. Let's remove this little bit there as well. I don't like having that there. And then we can make right here be a slope up. And then right there also a slope up. Let's take our cut sandstone on either side here. Take it all the way over to here. Like that. Mm -hmm. And let's make this side. Not that. Go to here. Okay. We'll see what's happening in just a moment. Level up. So due to how we're making emeralds right now, the one thing that we're bottlenecking on is the growth rate of crops, right? Crops can only grow so fast. I mean, we could use bone meal, but we don't have that much bone meal, right? So what we need to do is just expand our crop fields, right? Get out of the way. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're doing now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we'll use the cut sandstone, and over here. Mm -hmm. and then we'll just start using sand here. Except for the corners. Like that, just along the edges. Out of sand, but that's okay. We don't really need sand for this step. Next, what we'll do make this entire area a new farm. this. Perfect. Okay. So it's not much to look at right now, but it'll get there. First step <clears throat> is to start placing down water. So I 
if I do like I did up there, it's going to leave some empty space, right? I think what I'll do instead is one, two, three, and then put one here. That, basically every three, or I guess every six, we'll be using some water. So, here, oh, All right, that should be in one more, my bad. Go. Okay. On this edge. One. One, two, three. And then one, two, three. So here. Perfect. I'll. I keep messing up. How do I keep messing up like this? There. There. Then we have a perfect uh, amount. Not perfect, but it, it'll it'll help for now. Oh, I could use this to go around the edge, huh? At least up this little bit there. Let's use our wall to go past what we can. Excellent. And we can use our torches to light it up a little bit better. A little bit better. Okay. There. Then let's put one over here. There we go. Now I can use my slabs to do that because they're waterlogged now. And being waterlogged means that they can have water under them and it still counts as a block, so it's perfect. Do what I can here to make a bunch of wheat starting up. I don't think I'm going to have enough seeds to plant everything. Wow, I had exactly enough dirt and exactly enough wheat seeds to plant the entire area, huh? That's cool. I guess uh, I guess I had a little more dirt because I had them over there. Why did I put dirt there? There of all places instead of out here? I'm weird. How it goes. Right, let's get a little more. Okay. <clears throat> so whilst we... Wait for some stuff to grow. Some creeper explosions. This is where uh, some of my shield durability went when I was uh, fighting creepers. One exploded over there, one over there. Actually, two over there, if I remember correctly. Those jerks. Armor's not doing too bad, at least. What I would like to do is turn this side of the... Uh, desert village into somewhat of a villager breeding farm, I guess. So I could expand over here with the housing. And then once I figure out how to properly like breed villagers, I can do some of that. Gotta remember how it's done, because I don't quite recall. I'm just gonna remove these. They're dumb. Good little two outlets. You know what? No, I don't like that. Mm -hmm. uh, I either, uh, what am I doing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, 
let's do it. I guess. Okay. I'll put a single step up here. Suppose that works. That. I wish I had my uh, masonry bench over here. My stone cutter, I guess it's called. I don't know. Might also not be a bad idea to further expand the sugarcane farm, since it takes so much to get like the 24 paper that we need, you know? Now, all this like land on this island, too. This whole island could be a sugarcane farm. Imagine, imagine the size of that. How much sugarcane you would get. Oh my god. Be absolutely insane. Oh, apparently I had more wheat seeds too, by the way, so it didn't work out perfectly like I thought. Okay. Now let's quickly fill in this hole. This nice little area up here. Let's fill in that and that. No, let's just go. Yep. Let's fill in the stupid creeper explosion hole. One thing I don't like here is that it's like on the exact edge. But it is fine, I suppose. Make a nice cut across here. Nice and even. Let's even increase that. There we go. If I do this, I don't have as, have as wobbly of a fence, you know? I can make it nice and sharp. Perfect. Okay. Nap time! After I put down a couple more slabs there and there. What? Getting the, the way down and ready for like a roadway, you know? Villagers still aren't safe to be let out of their house. Actually, I don't think I'm going to release these villagers. For being honest, um, since I need these guys to like, can I talk to them through the window? I can. I might actually remove their door at some point. I don't know when. At some point. Okay. Let's continue on with making a nice flat area for now.
Go to here. That's a lot of sand. I actually break my shovel before I get done with this. the stuff back this now okay now we're just gonna fill in this here out of water please I think what I'll do, I'll make this go here. A little further. Okay, then I'll just fill the rest of this in with sand. have this be a nice little piece of land you know it's always so like nice to see like the mini map change you know from like what you're doing all the sand that we mined up though is going to waste Three sand shy? Man, that's messed up. Not acceptable. There. Okay, perfect. We got a nice little beachfront property here. Is there a house fancy in that direction? Some of these dead ones don't drop with sticks. That's weird. Okay, well, let's go ahead and just grab everything I can for right now. Uh, I think I'll head back. Let's see. How much dirt do you suppose that I need to fill this in? If we look at it from a perspective of this was like a stack and a half, roughly, that means we'll have a stack and a half, another stack and a half, another stack and a half. So we would need, that was three, right? We would need three, four, four and a half stacks of dirt. To fill this whole area in with uh, dirt? Okay. Let's aim for four and a half, five stacks of dirt. Okay, but first, you know, I like to get some stuff here. Drop some stuff off, you know. Goes. Okay. Those off. Drop that off. That. Um. Give me the wheat. Give me the shears. Since we're going over near the sheep area. What else? What else? Do I need anything right now? Not particularly. Although, I might as well, I guess, keep the, the sandstone stuff, huh? I'm still building up over there. 
Get these torches back now as well. Okay. Mm. I think we'll do it. Mm -hmm. Is this just anything I want? Not particularly? Okay. Alright, so I'm taking my bed. No, we can sleep wherever, whenever we want. It'd be a waste if I didn't cut it down now, right? Because then it would keep uh, growing. Also, I need, uh, need it to make the sandstone, uh, or not the sandstone, the, the sugar cane farm over there. All right. Over to the sheep place to get some dirt. Starting a dirt quarry. Ah, speaking of quarries, what I wouldn't give to have the quarry mod, which will allow you to just harvest a bunch of quarry. Or a bunch of like, uh, all the way down to sandstone in a huge place. It's always one of my favorite, like, late tier mods. Being able to set up a huge area and then use the quarry to mine everything out of that entire chunk and, like, put it into an ME system. Or, like, an inner chest that goes into your ME system. So you have, like, thousands of resources, like, billions of cobblestone and stuff like that. So good. All right, let's start by shearing them. You, you, come here. Not getting away. You. All right. Next, who wants some food? Can you. I really just waste one because. Oh God, there we go. Okay, they can they can breathe. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Now make more babies. And while they're doing that. Let's start mining. I think I'll put my bed like right here. For now. Ah, yes, I forgot. I should have brought more shovels. Wait for that now, though. Let me go, like, right here. I'm just gonna take some, uh, cobblestone. So I can make some more shovels. I'll see you later. Let's get down a tree. Get some planks. Make a crafting bench. Go ahead and place it over here where nothing can jump over into the pit there. Make a couple of sticks. A bunch of shovels. And we're done. Okay. grass blocks so much that he's so much longer to <coughs> shovel through. You know what, I might actually do something else right here quick.
take a take a nap quick though. I would like to uh, not be killed by monsters while I'm trying to get a bunch of dirt. Okay. Got down this tree too. Why not? Wood is always in short supply currently for me. So I shouldn't die. Alright, let's take O out. There we go. Now, while I'm waiting for the sheep to regrow their wool and for them to be ready to breed, I can grow some more wheat while I'm also digging up dirt. Yay! And any seeds I find, I'll go ahead and also expand this a little bit, you know. here. I think that's the limit of how far the water can saturate. Saturate's the word, right? Although, I really wanted to be like, oh, like a farm. What I could do instead is, since this is water, that's one, two, three, four. All this area is going to get saturated because it's next to the water, you know, the ocean. Even though the ocean would be salty in real life. Here. Anyway, there we go. All right. I don't want to use too many of those, you know. So, there we go, and there you go. All right, perfect. Your wool. Thank you. Okay. Excellent. Love to see it. Now then. Let's just continue on with getting dirt. One. I need one, two, three, four, five stacks of dirt. So once those all fill up, I will know. But I'm done. Peace. Next shovel. I love mining. I'm just gonna go down one level at a time, like a staircase, all the way down, like a like a quarry would be, essentially, a real life quarry. That way, I have a way to go out and. If I ever need to get a bunch of stone, I'll have that area opened up as well, so. It'll be excellent. And I might as well get stone while I'm here to do it. You never know when you can use stone for building projects. Is just stone past that point. I think I might just not.
Oh, we actually got all we needed. Perfect. I guess let me just finish up this layer then. Once we do that, we can head back home. Or feed the sheep a little bit more if the wheat's grown. I don't know. I don't know how fast wheat grows, to be honest. I do know that we have a bunch of wheat already grown at the other place. So. Perfect. And look how look how cool that looks on the mini map. It looked cooler if the entire middle area was gone, but that's neither here nor there. Currently. All right, sheep, how you looking? Oh yeah, you got some more wool for me, huh? Perfect. Nothing's grown, unfortunately. Is Kind of a letdown, but that's okay. All right, back home we go. When I say home, but I mean across the river, essentially. So we can finish building our secondary farm. And just have a blast. I think when we finish the farm, we'll uh, do something else for a little bit because all this construction is getting a little tedious and boring. I know. All right, and here we go. And let me just. Out of here, rabbit. All right. Time. to start placing dirt. Actually, why don't I place cobble around here since I picked some up anyway? It would just be nice to have that there. Okay. Fortunately, that's kind of where it runs out. I guess I can use the sand here and then use the rest of the cut. Doesn't have to look pretty. I'm not going to look at it that often, you know? All right. Now that I got a nice little box for all my dirt, I can go ahead and just place it down. I can worry about the water later. That'll be fine. Correct, and it was exactly four and a half, basically. So this will be the fourth group, right? So that's the fourth stack. <coughs> Excuse me, my god. And then I left my bed back there, god damn it, whatever. And so this would be the half stack. That I said, right? Oh my god, it was. That's amazing. Like, you gotta give it up. The fact that I just, like, eyeballed how much I needed from there. Oh no. I need edges, right? The, the fences have to go around an edge. I'm dumb. 
was like, I'll just do this one side so I don't have to worry about corners We're running out of cereal, but nope, I'm just an idiot. Oh well. Everything else is good now, so let's just go here and here. Keep this clicking. There we go. Perfect. All right, so let's take a quick nappy nap. Oi, out the bed, y'all. My bed now. All right. And now. We can start killing the field, I say, but then I remember mm -hmm. let's let's finish putting down the water first. So we got one, one, two, three, one, two, three. Go here. And now it's even easier because we can just do this. And then we got one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And we can go over here, and another hole needs to go here. Easy peasy. One, two, three, four. I'm just going to put water here, even though it doesn't necessarily need to be, but I'm going to do it anyway. We got one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Now I can eyeball the rest of it as well. Be like that needs to go there. And that's perfect. And then one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, one, two, and it ends up in a dead end. So I think with the last bit, I might just put it like here. There's just a weird like off. Oh my god, I can pick up water from there. Excellent. Just high enough. So I don't have to go all the way over there to water. Beautiful. Love it. Kind of messed up the water uh, thing there for a second. Right, just a couple more buckets and we'll have every water thing filled in. And what we can do next is finish filling up our bucket there. And then we can use the slabs to slap them all down that we don't fall into the water when we're trying to, you know. Harvest. We can put torches down, which will give us some light. And light up our field for the areas that we're definitely not going to be able to get to yet. Now I can just go ahead and get another bang, knock it out until the uh, wooden hoe's gone. It doesn't really matter if I uh, over-till, because it will stay as long as it's got, you know, water nearby. It'll stay tilled. Except for maybe those. Oh, I didn't put a thing of water here. There we go. That was perfect. And now I need to put another one of those there. Perfect. Rock on. All right. Now let's plant what we got. Maybe we can go back across and get more stuff to finish this with. Okay. All I have now, right? Yeah, okay. And then... Excellent. All right. 
Now let's go harvest our wheat, feed our cows, and then plant more. Wheat and do that. Okay. I wish it all grew at like the same rate everywhere. That'd be really nice. I didn't have to like pick and choose around it. Surely, we're getting there. Another one's grew up over here, so we'll do that. Okay. Potatoes, how you looking? I'm not going to bother with them right now. All right, cows. You want some food? Come on, come get it. Come get it. Here you are. That's right, make babies and heal my, heal my shield. All right, that's about it. Are hey, you a farmer? Give me some emeralds. Ooh, he wants melon or an emerald. Hmm. Not bad. How many melon? It takes nine melon to make one, so I need uh, nine times uh, four, which is 36. Uh, my, my, my melons still aren't growing. Right, they need dirt. They don't grow on sand. I'm done. There we go. Now we should have some melon come. Okay. Well, let's go back up here quick. And before we head back across, I think it's getting late. I think I can sleep here in a moment. Um, let's make a bed first. Since I forgot to bring my other one back. Okay, so I still can't sleep, but put some stuff away right now. Okay, let's store the dirt. Let me keep these actually. Turn all these into cut splats as well. Okay. Let's store the potatoes here. Store those, store that, store that, store the wool. And I'll store the shears as well, because I don't really need them right now. And let's go ahead and, of course, make our paper. Perfect. Can I sleep now? Not yet. Okay. Well. Boy, guy, read me. Thank you. Okay. And look, my uh, my shield's almost fully healed now, which is great. Okay. I also think it's time to get a couple more pickaxes. A little low on those. Okay. Can I sleep now? Not yet. Where the hell is the sun at? Hmm? It was totally disappearing over the horizon before, right? Best one gold. Do I have four gold? I think I have four gold, yeah. Yep. I'm gonna make a game clock. I'm tired of not knowing what time it is. Yeah. So it's four. I don't like this clock. 
for being honest. What does this mean? When does night actually happen? Pillars aren't sleeping yet. Now it's 4.30. Is it 5? Is that when night falls officially? Well, I can finish planting some stuff then, too. Forgot to get a hoe. Meow. So the, the change to that color, huh? Now it's five. Look, even look, look, look at that. It even looks like a red mouth inside that like area, right? Okay, now it's night again. So five is when it's night. Okay. Question: Can I put my clock into this bag? I can. Oh my god, that's that's gonna save so much space. Perfect. Okay. Oh. Actually, you know what? Let me uh. We'll do this. We're going to further expand our enterprises. Real quick. Excited. I know I said we weren't going to build anymore, but I got inspiration. How it is. Okay. Meow. Meow. Okay. Quickly plant all this. A little more. Perfect. Okay. Now we can continue with this. Oh, I, uh, I just remembered what else you can put on the shield. It's the, uh, the one that increases its durability. I forget what it's called offhand. I don't, I don't know why. I can't remember. Uh, not toughness. It's, uh, unbreaking. Right. That would have been helpful before putting mending on it, but you know what? That, that's fine. I can uh, I can make a new shield. I can enchant it with the trapped enchanting table to get the unbreaking mod, and then I can combine them at an anvil and make them both together. Or if I get an unbreaking book, I can just do that too. But whatever. Okay, this whole area is tilled and ready to go. I'm gonna take these melons, turn them into melon seeds. You see where this is going? Hope you do. Go back over here. Crap, I just jumped. Oh, it didn't do it. Okay, perfect. I know I could harvest that wheat, but I'm gonna hold off on that for right now. All right. So let's go down to this convenient, very straight line that we have here. Let's go ahead and just remove all this. Okay, that should be enough for right now. Boom. And then we can go do, 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 do. All right. But I also need water, so let's see. 
here. If I put water there, it's going to be enough, right? Because it goes four across. It would be one, two, three, four, and then there, there. Yep, okay, that's enough. Basically, one, two, three. Here. Okay. Then a little bit more. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. There's that. Go ahead and do one more. One, two, three. One, two, three, and four. Yoink. And we'll get some water. And we'll finish digging out the path here. So one, two, three. Go. And next, I need to make it so that the lemon, or not melon, the lemon. I just said not, not melons. Okay. The Melons can actually grow onto something because they don't grow onto sand, apparently. So we will go ahead and remove the sand. And I would start here, but I'm not sure if I have enough. Um, dirt for that. We'll be doing this instead, this way. Oh, I had enough. Perfect. Alright, so we'll go ahead and pre do all that. Mm -hmm. And then I think what I'll do here mm -hmm. is put a slab of sandstone above each of these. Perfect. And then when I eventually do get more stuff for a fence, I can put a fence over all of those so that no one jumps down and Ruins my melon seed, essentially. And now it's nice and flat. It's perfect, too. Okay. So. Next up, on top of here, I would like to begin with the sugarcane farm. I'm going to leave a nice big area there for other stuff. So let's see. Let's just start here. Okay, so that's the water. That means it's going to grow each four of those. So I need one there to get those two. And then with that one being there, I need one here to get those two. Right? Okay. And then one here would get this area. And so we got one there and one here here as well which after after like a couple of them it gets a little bit out of hand but you know that's that's okay i guess i could just do like a row of two right i just i know i have to stagger them just do that and then that that and that's kind of how it would go it's like every place possible having a thing, right? Let me actually cover these up. Yeah, but just go in like an alternating pattern like this. I feel like it would work. There we go. Oops, not there. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That works, okay. Now we just gotta fill it all in. Oh my god. What I wouldn't give for like a bunch of buckets or something right now, right? Also, this is annoying me, so... Um... Doesn't really help much. But whatever. Oh my god, please. This is gonna take forever. I thought I saw um it being off by one, but I, I 
the, the, the angle of it messed me up. I think that actually messed me up, the fact that there was a different colored slab there. This should be the last bucket that I need there. Um, okay. I was like, no way. I just like fucked that up. Hmm. Okay. So we got all that done. Now I can just plunk down these boys and these ones here. Um, actually, since I'm probably gonna have a wall there that's gonna have torches on top of it, let's do it this way. Whatever. I don't like to care. All right, excellent. Uh, and now, let me just take the things here. We have a nice little area. Oh yeah, brother. Let me just go ahead and dip in here real quick. Excuse me, taking a nap. Thank you. Okay. And now, just for the sake of it, I think I want to make just twenty-two more of these. Twenty-two more holes. That just sounds agonizing. But it's okay. Okay, so to make the most out of this real estate. Mm -hmm. Having a hole here seems beneficial. But if I have a hole here, no. No? I was thinking I could have one here and go like that, but then that's an unused space. So... I need... Okay, I think... I do here... And then, but no, I would need that space, right? I might just have to have like a, a strip down the middle, like here. That's not used, I guess. That's unfortunate. Right? Or, if I have this one here, I can use that square, right? And I'll use that one. But then, have it be optimized, I would need to have this space, which would be a waste, right? So, yeah, I think we just back up and use this, right? And then if I wanted to, the next one would be here, right? Okay, that is all that. The next one would be here. Okay, so let's just do this. Right, and then the next one would go here, 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 here. Easy peasy. I'm tired of running all the way over here, so we're just gonna go boop. We'll make it go a little bit faster anyway. A little bit faster. Okay. Now we've got these taken care of. And room for 12 more. I think we'll do just the same exact thing. Base it out by two, start there, and start there. Easy, easy. No mess, no fuss, just like that. Okay. There. I'll have to skip this area for now. But we can do this one. 
then one here, that one there, this one here, that one there, this one here. Okay, there. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine. We have two more, but that one's gonna be one, right? So can I still do this? Yeah, I can. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. I have two more slabs. I think at this point though, I wanna just say screw it and call it for this stuff anyway. So we'll do that. And I can use the torches and place one here and here. Give it a nice spacing, you know. All right. So this will be our primary sugarcane farm once we uh, have enough sugarcane for it. I suppose we could just go around here and pick up the sugarcane that's on this island. And that would help us to at least get a good number going, right? Also to remove some of the uh, stuff in other areas, right? <clears throat> that, and then I'll go harvest this area, and I'll think we'll be good. Oh, jeez. Oh. Hey, meow. Okay, well, I think we definitely have enough now to at least start the base of... Uh, Definitely have more than enough. Start the, the base level of the sugar cane. That's nice. Isn't there a mod that lets you, like, grow sugar cane infinitely high? Or at least until the height limit? I think there is one. That'd be helpful to have so you don't have to make so many of these little things, but... Whatever. Okay. So, bam, bam. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Bam. That and then oops, hold up, hold up. Yep, next. Next row. And the next row. I actually ran out. I thought I would definitely be good, but nope, I ran out before we could finish it. Mm -hmm. That is so much sugar cane. We're gonna have so much paper, y'all. We're gonna have so many emeralds. We're gonna be swimming in it. Oh, baby, it's gonna be excellent. Um, instead of using the dirt or the, the sand or sandstone, I think what I'll do, I'll actually fill up these gaps a little more. And then, don't quote me on this, but I think we'll go do something else other than construction. Okay. How are we looking? Pretty okay. This area was just, uh, yeah, it's just like an underground lake thing. I don't like it. Fill it in. I don't like these kind of caves. Go. Well, that didn't really help us fully. Uh... I guess. If I do this. Place these here to get some extra sand to lock up the rest, right? One low. Oh my god. I'm just going to take this sand, even though I'll have to replace it later. But make it nice and small and flat, you know. Okay. 
So with that, we have our wheat farm up here growing, looking lovely, looking fresh, perfect. We've got a new sugarcane farm. We've got a start of a, a glorious melon farm. We've got our potatoes and our beetroots and our wheat up here, which is glorious. We've got our cows that are now much more uh, populated. I'm going to cut these down a little bit. Also, mm. nag more melons. Mm. Yep. Mm. We'll head back on it here. Okay. Mm. I don't do anything with this paper quite yet. Save it for now. Um, we got to put the hose back. Mm. That's okay. I think the hose are what I have left. Yeah, okay. Let's here, down to here, and in this chest I'll throw in the, the weak hoe, it's about to break since I don't really need it too much here. I have to be coming right, you're right, I should, hold on. Let's make a iron shovel, just one more iron shovel. Speaking of, um, iron, where did my nuggies go? Here? Might as well start burning them. Burning them. Forging them, I suppose. That. There. Then I will make one more bed that I can carry with me when we go on an adventure. Excellent. Perfect. Got my diamond axe, got my normal axe, got my pickaxes and my shovels. I got a golden apple just in case shit gets crazy. I've got my food, a bow. I'm gonna get rid of the, uh, I might as well use the melons, right? I will plant them over there. Okay. I've got my bucket of water in case things get crazy. And crazy as fire, I mean, um, yeah, I think we're good. Take a nap, nap. Okay. Put the water in that cauldron while I'm here. All right. So, we'll just take our boat. Forgot to turn it around. I hate when I do that. I'm actually gonna go over this. Nope, I'm not, never mind. I forgot. I forgot. Okay. I'm gonna take the boat with me. Get another bucket of water before I forget. Hello guys. Let me use your chest real quick to put this hoe away. Okay, enjoy yourselves. Then I'm going to take the melon seeds, plant them here. Perfect. Might as well uh, take these three sugar cane and do that. So, I was looking at the map, and on the map we have a, looks like a village here. We have, I think, one of those enemy base things there. Another one and a portal here. We have a jungle, uh, not a jungle, a desert temple there. Some sort of structure here. And then I think we have another temple over here. And we got an underwater another thing there. And of course the, the two fortress things up there. But we also have whatever this is here. Which is close to the base as well. So I feel like what we'll do is we'll do a nice loop. And that'll also expand our horizons in terms of... Uh, another portal there in terms of what we have around us you know we, we'll be able to see um further around us if there's any more friendly villages we can trade with i 
at least for now, until we uh, get ourselves a nice big old heap of villagers to trade with, you know? Ow. Those are fighting that. Oh, I see turtle. Hey there, bud. Okay. I'm going to use the boat for this distance because I don't want to have to walk. Swim across. Also, you'll notice that the music for Minecraft is still not on because I'm still waiting for that uh, copyright claim to go away or them to be like, yeah, okay, never mind. I see. You're not abusing our music. I'm going to kill some cows while we're over here, though. And yeah, see? I think we're mostly sheep over here, though. Maybe uh, off stream, I'll collect more of the sheep that are around here. Because there's a lot. I'll just put them all in the pen. And that way, we won't have to worry too much about breeding them. We can just come over and collect their wool every once in a while, you know? And also, if we do breed them, it'll give us a bunch of experience, so that'll be nice. Okay. Oh, I think... Actually, hold on. If that is a pillager tower, if we attack a pillager, doesn't it, like, start spawning raids? So couldn't they come after my base? If they come out from my base, my villagers will be in giant. That does not look like a pillager tower, so. Although there are pillagers there, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know enough about the pillagers. I do not. Oh my god, that's another big cave, huh? Nice. Hey, what do these guys have up there? I see a chest and a rail cart there. Oh my god, look at the mini-map. Look how many there are. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, if I counted correctly? That is insane. I don't know if I, uh, like, I'm not going to get, like, completely destroyed by them, but, like, if they all gang up on me, I can easily get, like, outflanked and stuff. Oh, more cows. Nice. I can water some of them. Need some leather and food, you know? Do I even need to do the critical hits on the cows? Oh, that green dot is over there. It gets to live. Also, for those of you who do not know about critical hits in Minecraft, um, if you jump and then when you're coming down, attack so like that. Um, oop, once you have your downward momentum going, it does uh, increased damage. Just in case some of y'all are unaware, because I remember playing Minecraft for a while and not being aware of that until I saw a streamer do it. And I was like, hmm, the hits sound beefier when you do that. And I looked it up and was like, oh, my God. All this time, I could have been doing more damage. Interesting. Okay. So let's go ahead. I'll take the gold, the flint, of course, the apple. Um... Mending boots. Oh man, if only they, if only there was a way to get like stuff off of items, right? Or like if I could combine the gold boots and the iron boots into like take their enchantments, you know? I'm taking them just because they have mending. I don't know the reason why. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm just going to throw them away. Never mind. I see mending and I'm like, 
but it doesn't really matter, I guess. Um, I should maybe get across this huge chasm before I continue on the way. Otherwise, it seems like it's going to be a pain to get around. All right. Here's the plan. We're going to assault this place, see what we can do. Since they're just pillagers, I shouldn't have too much trouble, fingers crossed, with taking a bunch of damage. I'll take some damage, but I should be able to at least, like, if I get overwhelmed, I can run away, right? But I have a shield. So the shield should protect me for the most part from their crossbows and stuff. I'll just have to pray that I don't get too swarmed. In fact, I might try to take some of them out with a bow from above. Thankfully, this uh, lovely mountain gives me a perfect chance to act Station Chief. I'm not sure I like that. That thing has a name. Uh, it's also It also seems to be the boss. <laughs> if, if I look uh, at how high we are right now. Okay. So maybe I uh, back off a little there. Try to aim here. Missed. Okay. A little higher. Totally with that. Here. Got him. Uh oh. They're mad. They are mad. Okay. I think if I'm going to fight them, I want to be off the mountain. Oh god, they're coming. Oh lord, they're coming. Too much. They're hitting each other, so that's good. Oh no, they're using like poisoned arrows and stuff too. Uh... Okay, I can tank some damage right quick to try to narrow them down. There we go. Oh no! Run away! Strategic withdrawal! While well, I get some regen going anyway. Let me also get my golden apple down here, huh? Fucking oh, ouch. Okay. Well. I'm gonna eat a golden apple. I've not fought one of these before, so uh the, the Ravenger specifically. Where's the hitbox? Got it! Okay. Oh, would you just die? I can get two hits in. How much health do you have? Oh my god. Finally. It's also about time to sleep, too. Okay, so those guys are rough. Like, really rough. Oh my god. I, I was not expecting to fight... Those are called Ravagers, right? The big things. They also do a lot of damage. Man. If I came in... Look at that. My stuff's already almost, like, halfway. If I came in here with, like, normal iron gear, I would have been screwed. I would have just gotten ruined. 
It seems like they pulled away most of the guards, too. The freaking witch over there, too. That's, that's messed up, man. A hole. Gonna sneak up on me, are you? At least I can start mending my shield a bit. Now I won't have to be blocking so much. I can start at the top. <laughs> I got a barrier. What is that? What the hell? Where'd you come from? I don't like that there's a TNT card here. Go ahead and just break that. I don't wanna... Got a head. What were the achievements I got? Station Chief, Hill Station, Locate one of the Illager structures. Find the railway abducted by the crossbow barbarians. And kill a raid captain. Maybe consider staying away from villages for the time being. Crap. Yeah, so that means that uh, a raid will happen next. Shouldn't have killed that guy. He was already trapped in a uh, road. Uh, a thing, you know. Okay, so what don't I... Oh. Ladder. Hello there. I don't need a minecart with a chest. I don't need that stuff. Golden carrot. I don't need the ominous banner. Right? Yeah. Not an item, so I don't have to use it. Uh, plus one vitality. Forbidden apple. Forbidden berries. Plus three vitality. I don't know what this barrier is. A normal stick. I wonder if, if I eat these, do they like increase my health or something? Is that what they are? Oh, three emeralds. More arrows. Finally, I got some carrots. Awesome. Carrots, I'll be able to start making a carrot farm. Not that anyone wants carrots right now, I don't think. Okay, so. This whole thing is fine. Hey, Iron Golem, are you friend? I guess you're friendly because you're not attacking or like angry, but I'm not going to free you because I don't want to deal with that nonsense right now. Hello there, friend. Oh, yeah, you fought, huh? Let's see. Yeah, I'm doing this uh, in reverse, aren't I? Kind of, I guess. Anyone up there? There's a chest up there. Oh, a ladder. I'll just take everything from up. I wish there was like a loot all button in these chests. That'd be really nice. Or uh, that one mod that lets you like take things. Just by like holding shift and sweeping your mouse over and whatever the mod that is, that's a good mod. I love that mod. Oh. There's some illagers around, it sounds like. Are they down on the ground level? Sounds like that might be the case. Looks like my inventory's full now. Baked potatoes, huh? You know what? Let's take a baked potato and eat it. Real quick. That way we'll heal up. Then I'll take my golden apples back. I guess I could get rid of the stick, but I don't really want to do get rid of the stick just for baked potatoes, and they're probably gonna drop again anyway. Okay. Ask the wheat in the little farm here. Oh fuck the witch. Nope. 
Did she just hit me with slow? I think she... Didn't even drop any potions. How rude. The stairs going down, but let's go up first. Oh. What do we got here? I have so many bottles of enchanting. Oh my goodness. I got nausea and poison arrows, huh? Might as well take these barrels, you know. I can actually use them as storage. So. Huh? Got a wart. Mushroom. Is this telling me how to make those potions, I guess? That's cool. Not that I have any bottles to make them with, but... Oh, that's just a normal mushroom. Never mind. Okay. Check down here now. <gasps> Bookshelves. I guess I don't really need wheat, do I? Oh. Three anvils? Oh my god. Let's get rid of the wheat. I'm going to take these bookshelves. Specifically the books, bookshelves, but... And both of these are actually damaged, so I don't really need to take them. But the books are helpful to have. I can turn them into bookshelves for my uh, enchanting table area. Are those normal villagers down there? Trapped in that cage, I guess? I think they are. How do I get to them? Do I need to make like a bridge or something for it? It looks like it's just suspended in air, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm try to jump over, but hey, hey you, come closer so I can see what you got. Oop. What's up, y'all? You guys are normal villagers? Yeah, you are. Okay. Well. Push me, man. Come on, come on, get closer. Yes. Got him. All them are dead. Perfect. That was the bottom of that area. The actual way to get in here is over here, was it? This one? There was a ladder down over here, right? Right here. Yeah, this one. Okay. Hey, look, one of the villagers got out. Welcome, sir. How are you doing? Well, this area has been tamed. I mean, now let's go visit this village and cause a uh, misfortune to it. So I don't have to worry about my village getting attacked. Hello? Friendly village across the way. I bring uh, a raid with me. Ooh, a brewing stand. How fancy. <laughs> Run! Everybody hide! Coming from that side, huh? Okay. Come on, Mr. Iron Golem, we got this. You go, dude. I kind of don't want 
gonna go across this. Give me a little shits. Oh, why is he doing so much damage to me? Shoot! Hurrah! Got him. Okay. <laughs> I accidentally did that. Let's uh let's take a nap quick though. Why is the raid charging up again? I don't like that. No, sir. That way now? Like? I'm just gonna hide here for right now and regenerate my health because that one guy just really hurt. You can't get me, Pillagers. I'm too strong for you. I thought I can see through this. So there's that guy who did a lot of damage to me. Wait, that? He doesn't have an axe. Is he an invoker? Invoker. What are they called? I don't remember. Ooh. Maybe it's not a good idea to be trapped here, huh? There, now I'm not trapped. Hello? Hey, come on in. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Hey, bud. One down. Yeah, you two want a piece? Come on. Come to my humble abode. You wanna come through the door, huh? Cowards. Cowards! Let's go. Got him. Down. There's another one over this way. Question mark. A couple. Careful, I don't want to. Three non critical hits. Take them down. Oh, careful. Crap. Yep, he's down. Not another one. Oh, God, they break my shield. Okay. Wait, the raid's charging up again? Mm -hmm. Homie, no. Mm -hmm. Hi. Mm -hmm. Why are there so many? In your house, man. Mm. Hey, bud, welcome to the safe place. Hey, buds. But you want, uh... Pork chops and chicken, that's cool. Mm. Oh no, they're killing the villagers. Mm. Hey! I can get rid of the bow guys. I can focus on trying to deal with the guys with the axes. 
Oh boy. That's a big boy. Oh no, it's smart too. <laughs> oh god. Oh god, the cliff's still going. Oh my god, it's on my ass. Ah! No! Inside, 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 inside! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Ow. Jackass. You know what? I'm not getting near you anymore. <laughs> How dare you! Two remaining. All right, well, let's heal up, first of all. You dropped a saddle for me. I don't think I don't really need... I think I don't need flint too much. I'll take a saddle, though. That's helpful. Hey! You leave that villager alone! Ah. Last one's over here. Causing trouble in that house, huh? Got him. Wait, there's another one? <laughs> oh, guys, please! There's so many. Oh my god. Get in this damn house. Oh, that was another. Oh, that was a villager. Whoa, 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 whoa. They. They are not very nice, are they? Those, uh, those Vindicators. Man. That's rough. Well, game over. This is our, uh, our destination, our death, everything. Ripperoni. I, I should have just ran away. I should have just... Put the raid aggro on that village and then just ran. Just left it for them to all perish. But they did so many hearts to me. Like, I don't understand what I could have done. Like, even if I had, like, full netherite, it still feels like they could have done, like, five hits and killed me, right? The only thing I could have done would be to, like, block them to the point where they... Couldn't get to me, and then I could just shoot them with arrows. But even so, that's just crazy. Just crazy. Okay. What is what is this? I don't know what I'm doing here. What what is the spectator stuff? All right, anyway, that is, uh, I guess, going to be it for today. <laughs> Ooh, boy. Ooh, boy. I really was not expecting to die that quickly. Man, it sucks that we wasted our time doing the uh, building stuff, huh? All right, let's quit the game. We're done. We're over. We lost. Ripperoni. And the pepperonis. Well, everyone, thank you all for hanging out and watching. Um, like I said, uh, since we died, I think I want to update my Forge version and look for more mods uh, that we can have to make things more interesting, you know? I think that'd be cool. But, uh, yeah. Whether or not we do another hardcore, though, I don't know. We might. We also might not. All up in the air. 
I thought we were doing pretty well too. And then we just got a vindicator all up in our faces. That was not great. So, <laughs> rip. Well, as usual, you can follow me over on YouTube or Twitch, or Twitter, or wherever you want to follow me on. There, the VOD will be uploaded in a couple of days if you missed anything here. And yeah, till next time. Bye for now.